There is a post COVID-19 medical issue that is affecting children, which doctors say is growing all across the country with cases reported right here in Western New York as well. But before you really worry about this, or if you see something about it on social media, Twin your sides, Liz Lewin is here tonight to bring parents the facts, not fear. A lot of these kids look really sick initially and actually improve quickly compared to how sick they are. Multisystem inflammatory syndrome, also known as Miss C, is a rare but serious post-COVID condition that affects mainly children. But why? How? Over the last year, pediatric infectious disease experts like Dr. Mike Hikar have been looking into the rise in pediatric cases, locally and abroad. This seems to be um, fairly unique in the way it, it presents most of these kids who come in with this severe inflammation now that we have all the testing you know pretty much all of them are are antibody positive which means they had COVID in the past the cdc reports children with miss c often present high fever abdominal pain respiratory issues and skin discoloration in our own cases locally we've seen most of the kids look really well by three to four weeks out but there are some people who are at lingering effects. So how much should local parents be concerned about this? Dr. Hikar says while these cases are very rare, looking out for symptoms and making sure your kids wear masks and practice social distancing is key, especially until there's a pediatric vaccine. The mortality is higher in, in it's high in these cases relatively, but it's still only about one of 50 kids who get this syndrome um, end up uh, passing away. As for treatment? Right now we're giving treatments that are really non-specific for inflamed persons and they seem to help, but we actually don't have many retrospect, you know, any actual um, uh, studies to show whether we should use one thing or the other. Dr. Hickar suggests consulting your child's pediatrician if you or your child might see some symptoms that are consistent with MISC. For more on those, you can visit our website at WGRZ.com. In downtown Buffalo, Liz Lewin, Channel 2 News.